Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to a video which has been requested several times so far. I'm actually going to um, put a put a couple requests that I've gotten quite often together. Um, and the first one is how to make a Technic mod pack. Now this is really easy. Um, it's actually well, yeah. I guess I'll just start. You know. Um, first thing you need to do is you need to get a um, Technic account, which um, it's in, in case you don't know, it's uh, technicpack.net. And sorry for the um, top of my screen being cut off there because my record does that. I don't know why, but yeah, sorry for that. So you're going to need a um, Technic account at technicpack.net, and then you can register for an account, and it covers the page with ads and everything. But whatever. So. You're going to need a Technic account. I already have one, so I'm going to log in. Okay, now I'm logged in, and uh, first thing that you're going to need to do is come over here, create a mod pack. Now, don't do anything on this page yet, but you want to have this page open and ready. And then you're going to also need Forge, which if you don't know where to get Minecraft Forge, you can go to files dot minecraft forge dot dot net net for some reason I can't type today okay um, so files dot minecraft forge dot net and then you can get whatever forge version that you need um, when you get your forge version uh, I assume that you know how to run um, mods on your own computer and everything but you know you need to get your Forge version, but you can't use the one that you have. So you want 1.7.10. Then you're going to need to get 1.7.10 universal, and always get the recommended, not the latest. So I should already have that downloaded. That's yeah, 1558 universal right here. And so first thing you want to do after um, you've got it is make a new folder. And then name it whatever you want. I'm going to call this Dimensional Timelines. There we go. Um, and then you're going to want to open this up, have your Forge version in here, and inside it make a new folder. Name it Bin. Take your Forge version, put it in there, and then rename that. You can name it other things, I believe, but sometimes it'll make it crash or other things like that. Just go on the safe side and call it Mod Pack. And then you want a new folder where you're going that you're going to name mods. I assume you know how to do all that. And then download a mod, put whatever you want in here. I have a mod pack set up, and for those of you who are wondering, yes, this is going to be an official mod pack that I'm releasing. I've been working on it for a little while now, and it's going to be replacing um, my official Mandalore Plays mod pack, which I just um, got rid of because it wasn't really getting any downloads. But yeah, so you're going to want to put in your mods folder. That's really the only folder that you need there is bin with mod pack and then your mods. And then you can put in a config folder if you've done any config for it. That'll work as well. So that's all you need right there. It's really simple. Now, for this next step, you're going to need either WinRAR or 7-Zip. I prefer 7-Zip. You can get WinRAR, either one. Um, best spot to get it would be Ninite.com. You can get either one there. It, it, it's just a good site to download a lot of utilities without looking around for um, any of their... Um, specific websites, but yeah, you could get either 7-Zip or WinRAR. It doesn't really matter. I prefer 7-Zip. It's a little more simple. You're going to then need to go open up your folder and then select all of your um, folders inside it, bin, config, and mods, or bin and mods if you only have those two. You don't actually have to put the config folder in there, but if you've done, done any um, specific configging to it, then you're going to need that there. And then you're going to right click on any one, it doesn't matter as long as it's highlighted. And then uh, with WinRAR, it should have all the options right here. With 7-Zip, it's got a little side tab. You want to click Add to Archive, and then Dimensional Timelines, and it should automatically be set to a .zip. You want to um, leave right here the archive format, 
as zip and then change it to jar up here dimensional timelines dot jar and then click OK that'll take a moment and there you go so here we have it and now what you're going to need is um, Dropbox or Google Drive will work um, there's I it's really confusing to get it to work I don't really actually know how I've never tried it but Google Drive will work I pretty much anything will but yeah so you're going to want to go to Dropbox and if you don't have an account you can make a free account it'll have plenty of storage um, or you can if you have a paid account you can use that but you're going to either need to create account or sign in I'm going to do that now okay I have signed in and as you can see I'm already hosting a bunch of my mod packs from here so now what you're going to need to do is take this new one right here and then just drag it over like that you can click on their upload files thing but yeah this will take a few minutes to upload depending on your um, internet speed so yeah I'll probably cut back when it's done okay it's done uploading and so I can just exit that away and now what you're going to need to do is click on share and then create a link and then copy link and I think it automatically copies it to my clipboard but I always just hold in control and press C to copy it anyway just to be safe so yeah you're going to need that now come over here to Technic platform mod pack name there we go you can name it whatever you want um, I just picked dimensional timelines for this and then you're going to need to select your um, forge mod loader version I did 1.7.10 that's probably the most popular um, hidden pack you can click that if you want only people with the um, direct link to download it but this is going to be a public pack and then a short description let's see here okay an exciting mod pack of dragons and dimensions now you want it to be you don't want it to be really long but you also don't want it to be too short I'm probably going to add on to that but for now an exciting mod pack of dragons and dimensions so yeah um, you're going to want that and then read the um, terms I've read them before and I agree there we go now this mod pack will not show in the in the index until it's properly configured blah 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 now what you're going to need to do is come over here click edit mod pack and then so you can't change the name but okay and then the link that you copied over here take that throw it in there and then this last number is zero you have to change that to a one or the mod pack will not download remember that has to be changed to a one all Dropbox links will have this um, I don't know how it works from other sites but Dropbox um, it'll all the all, all the links will look similar to this and you have to change that last zero to a one and then let's see here um, mod pack tags let's see here and then the mod pack website I will set that later if you have a server package for it you can click server pack and blah 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 um, depending on what your background is you can set that and then yeah update mod pack and now if you want it to be easier for people to find and more recognizable then you're going to want to come over here to resources yeah I'm going to need to make all of those the correct size but yeah basically that's how you make a mod pack it's really simple I can just show you really quickly that it is on here um, it might take a few minutes to update and get on here but let me search there it is an exciting mod pack of dragons and dimensions okay here we go it's installing now as I said it'll take a few minutes minutes for it to register so if it doesn't download it first don't panic just give it a few minutes make sure that you got the link right like paste it in your browser change that last number to a one if it says do you if it brings up the little thing to download it then you did it right so yeah here's the mod pack um I guess nah 
yeah, I guess I'll give you a little preview of it. Um, you can play it just to make sure it works fine on here. And here we are. In game. Just a inventory. Um, here's some of the mods in it. Yeah. So... Hopefully this portion of the video has been helpful to you. And next I am going to move on to um, showing you how to run a um, server pack, like if you download one of my servers. Now currently the only one left available is void pack to server.zip. So what you're going to want to do, you're going to download it and um, I guess you could get it from your downloads but you're going to open it up if you have 7-zip it'll open up in this little thing um, just copy that just drag it it'll copy right to your um, desktop might take a minute because it's a pretty big server pack and now close that and so here we have the server pack everything should be pre-configured for it um, uh, yeah, it should all be pre-configured. Uh, I've got like a default server icon that comes with it, which is just a little picture that I did of me. Um, really, all you're going to need to do is you can um, go into the server properties and um, change some things around. But yeah, that's it should all be pre-configured. You can just run start and that will let anyone on your personal internet network play with you. Now, if you want to let other people play with you, then you are going to need to go and um, enter 192.168.1.1 in your browser, which um, for you, if it doesn't do that, which for some people it doesn't, then try 10.0.0.1. That, I believe, is what it is for mine. Yeah. And so then you're going to have to log in. The default should be admin and um, password. So you're going to need to log in there. And then um, you can change that if you want. I've done that. Um, but yeah, that should be the default login. And then it should open up on this home page and um, what you're going to need to do then is click on advanced and it'll say port forwarding somewhere under advanced or um, something like that you're going to want to click on port forwarding for mine it's automatically selected and now this is going to be blocked out right here because that's my um, IP and um, what you want to do is add a service and then you're going to want to select other service name you can name it whatever you want I, I did minecraft TCP slash UDP and then it might ask you for your IPv6 and you can you can get all those by um, type by holding in the uh, Windows key and pressing R so like that type in CMD and hit enter then you're going to want to type in ipconfig, all one word, and um, hit enter again. And then it will bring up your um, IPv6 and your local IPv4. And so you're going to want to get those from there and enter in your IPv4. It might ask you for your IPv6. Put that in there. And then the start port will be 25565 and end port 25565. Now I've already done all that, so I don't need to do that. You're going to click save. It'll um, take a minute and then save. And then you have successfully port forwarded your router. Then you're going to want to go to um, google.com and type in IP and um, hit enter. Now this is going to be blocked out for me because that's my public IP and I don't want people getting that. However, your public IP will be right here. 
So yeah, that is the IP that you will let people join your server with. Do not give this to anybody that you do not know or trust or something like that because people can and definitely don't put it out publicly. People can use that to hack into your computer and do all kinds of really nasty stuff. So you don't want to get give that out to people. So yeah, that's how you port forward your router and then after that you just um, come over here, double click start and it'll bring up a little um, commands um, profile thing like the um, command prompt that I had up earlier. And you don't want to um, close that or minimize it because on some computers it will crash it if you minimize it and on all computers it will um, crash it if you hit the X. The way that you're going to close it is by typing in stop down in the um, little bar but I'm sure it, you might know how to um, run a server I don't know but yeah you're going to type in stop down on the um, command center and yeah that is how you run that server really easily and hopefully you have enjoyed this video if you did then please leave a like um, comment if you have any other questions for what you want me to do a tutorial on and um, I guess that's about it. I guess I'll see you next time. Bye.